Hello, my name is Brian Coward. I'm the EDM product line manager for Makino. Uh, with me today is Taylor Cox, senior application engineer for EDM at Makino. And today we're going to be talking about the UPN horizontal wire EDM machine. First, I'm going to give you a little overview of the machine and the presentation, talk about some unique features, uh, as well as some uh, machining examples. Then we'll go out to the showroom and Taylor, Taylor Cox will give us a walk around of the machine as well as a threading demo. At the conclusion of his uh, demonstration, Taylor and I will be available for questions. So first, why a horizontal wire drive system? It's very unique to Makino with a horizontal wire. Why would we do this on this, this particular machine? Well, this machine is designed for micro machining uh, machining very small parts and for some production of small parts as well. And that horizontal uh, wire drive system really enhances the automation capability of this machine and makes it much easier when we're using those fine wires. It also improves for part and slug management because the part is being held uh, in a chuck. We'll get into that a little bit later, but it really makes the, the management of the slugs much easier. Uh, the horizontal design also uh, provides reliable AWT capability for very small and clo close pitched start holes. So the automated operation portion of it. So the machine design eliminates the standard EDM uh, work table. If you have a standard wire, you know the table is usually a square or a U shape. and You have to bolt it to the table. For this machine, that table is completely gone and the workpiece is actually held vertically in a sinker EDM chuck. We can have either an Aroa or a 3R chuck put on the machine, whatever your preference is. It's the same chuck that we use on our sinker EDM machines. So essentially that chuck becomes the work table. And once we go out to the machine, you'll see this in action. Uh, the machine uses a palletized work holding system, similar to a tool changer on a sinker EDM. It's a 16 station automatic workpiece changer because we're actually changing the workpiece, not an electrode like we would on a sinker. The AWT system also lends into automation because it is very, very reliable for threading small holes, which is critical in this machine since it's really geared for micro machining. So the part and slug management, the horizontal design of the wire allows the slugs or the parts, could be a part, could be a slug, depends on what you're machining, to drop freely to the bottom of the tank. So you don't have to worry about them. You've seen that picture there. Uh, some of the slugs of the parts, this is actually a PCD uh, inserts that we, we were cutting. They just drop down to the bottom of the tank. We don't have to worry about them getting caught in anything. There's also, the machine can automatically eject the slugs or the part. Uh, and it will use a probe to verify that, that that slug has been removed from the base material. In the tank itself, there's an integrated work tray that allows you to recover these parts very simply. And Taylor will give you an example or a demonstration of that. Automatic wire threading on this machine. So how are we able to thread such small wires? Well, we achieve that by eliminating the jet, the fluid jet that's present in every other wire machine and instead we use air in induction and suction so we're actually going to shoot air through the head and then suck it through the other side and so that allows us to put very small diameter wires in this machine that also allows us to have small diameter holes with narrow pitch like this is a this drawing here is an example of it really small holes close pitched you can thread those no problem just to give you an idea of some of the capability, we're able to automatically wire thread a 30 micron or 1,002 tenth hole with an 8 tenth diameter wire. So really, really small stuff that we're talking about here. Also on this machine, it is designed for super high accuracy. So we're able to achieve sub-micron tolerances and very fine surface finishes. This machine is a little different than most uh, wire EDM machines. Our motion control system is utilizing internally uh, core cooled linear motors with 10 nanometer glass scale feedback. 
Uh, the linear guideways are also different. We're using pneumatic static pressure to minimize movement friction like you would find on a standard linear guide. This design is similar to what you're gonna see on a CMM machine. The UPN also is utilizing an oil-based dielectric versus the normal water dielectric. The oil uh, gives you better control over the machining spark. You can control the spark gap better so you can improve the accuracy and the surface finish as well as the metallurgical quality of the part. And then because we're using oil, we're able to achieve surface finishes down to 0 0.02 uh, micron RA. So just amazing finishes that you can get. So now we got a couple examples that we're going to show you. Um, this one here is a lead frame groove where we've got a piece of carbide. It's 118 thou thick and this was done with three pass machining using an 8 tenth diameter tungsten wire. This slot here is only a uh, little, little less than one thou and three tenths wide. So very, very small machining that we're talking about here. Uh, the last example I want to show you, just to give you an idea of the capability of this machine. This is a piece of carbide. This is a very thin piece of carbide. It's only eight thou thick. It has two pass machining, but we were machined this with a six tenths diameter wire, which is very, very small. To machine this gear took us one hour and 16 minutes and the accuracy of this gear opening which is only eight and a half thou in diameter was plus or minus two millionths in accuracy which is amazing so that just kind of gives you an idea of the capabilities of this machine so that's it for my presentation here now we're going to go out to the showroom and Taylor Cox is going to give you a demonstration of the machine. Thank you, Brian. My name is Taylor Cox. I'm an applications engineer here at Makino. And today we're going to be talking about the UPN01 product. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a pallet change and a, a automatic wire thread here. And then while that's running, I'm going to talk about some of the, the high points that Brian discussed. OK, so this machine, the UPN01, um, this machine is capable, as Brian had said, about uh, running wire from 15 micron all the way up to 100 micron wire. So 6 tenths wire all the way up to 4 thousandths wire. Has excellent AWT or automatic wire threading capabilities um, because we have an air blow on the right side and on the left side we have an air suction. Um, so you'll see that when, when the thread is happening here. Um, not only that, um, we also have excellent thermal stability. So this entire unit itself here closes up. So not only does this close up, but we also have an AC unit and an air dryer unit to keep excellent thermal stability um, when you're doing those very fine micro machining details. On top of that, because this machine is a horizontal machine, you get the same benefits, same benefits as a milling machine when it's horizontal, meaning the slugs don't fall on the heads, they fall down into the tank. Um, so we have a fine mesh screen down here that we can pull up to retrieve any parts or, or slugs that have fallen to the bottom of the tank. Okay, so our pallet change has, has just finished right now. Now that's going to come down, we're going to thread the wire. Uh, then afterwards, we're going to go to the side of the machine and talk about some more of the pallets.
All right, so now we're at the back side of the machine here. We can look at the AWC, the automatic work changer. So what we have is we have 16 position work changer, uh, in essence, 16 pallets. Um, so we can load up all of our work pieces in uh, each of these individual pallets so that the machine can run for extended periods of time unattended. Um, now, we have a variety of different pallets. Um, so depending on the type and the size of work that you have, um, one example, we have something like this um, where you can load stuff all the way around because again, with a horizontal machine, we don't have a table. So everything is coming off of our pallets here. So this one, we could have stuff uh, around or we can have something smaller, a little more compact for either smaller parts or smaller fixtures loaded in here. So we're gonna head back to Brian to wrap it up. And then myself and Brian will be available to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you, Taylor. Now Taylor and I are available for your questions. All right, uh, Taylor, thank you for giving us that presentation out in the showroom. Um, so we are available for questions uh, right now. Um, if you look on your screen, there's a, a section there where we've got uh, a chat and Q&A, and you can put any question that you might have in there, and um, we will be available to answer uh, any question that you have concerning the UPN horizontal wire machine. Okay. Now I did, did have a question that uh, someone had given me ahead of time. Um, and it's a very common question that we get concerning this machine is how can you even see a 15 micron wire or six tenths diameter wire to be, be able to spool it up onto the machine itself? Um, I can say this, um, I could see it a lot better um, about 10 years ago. It's a little hard for me to see it nowadays, um, but essentially inside of the work zone um, in the cabinet there, there is a whole ring of LED lights. Um, so it's very well lit. And for that particular wire, when you go down to that small a diameter, it's, it's a tungsten, a pure tungsten wire. So there is some reflection off of it from the light. So you're able to hold it and be able to see some reflection and uh, that's how you, you get it threaded. Um, but once it's threaded, it auto threads, so you don't have to worry about it for a while. Okay. Uh, another question that we get are concerning the guides. Um, so if you notice during that thread cycle, um, the the guides um, open and close so it's a split guide it's a split round guide so essentially um, they're laying flat and there's a guide on the bottom and a guide on the top and then those will open during the thread cycle once the thread is done uh, it'll close up and uh, hold the wire uh, we have another question that came in here um, Besides the micro wires, uh, what can we run as a standard? Uh, can we run with standard brass wire? Yes, I mean it does run standard brass wire. The diameter capability of this machine, the max is uh, four thou or 0.1 millimeter wire. So it is designed for just fine wire type of applications. A four thou wire would be where we would use a standard brass. Uh, anything below that, we would want to go to what we call an SP wire, which is a steel core wire or the pure tungsten wire uh, that's available. Okay. Um, if there's no more questions, then uh, I want to thank everyone for speaking spending a little time uh, this afternoon with us here to go over the UPN horizontal wire machine. Um, it is a very unique and interesting machine. Uh, if anyone has any questions about it, um, 
at a later date, please feel free to contact me and uh, we can go into some further in-depth discussion about the machine. Uh, thank you and everyone have a good day.